Martin Methodist College is a good employer in town, and certainly I'm in the utility business, so I'm interested in all of the economic benefit that it provides this community. But really, its students and its faculty enrich the community in, in, in non-financial ways. You've got folks there that are, that are studying the liberal arts and thinking about important and romantic ideas, and I think that the community itself benefits from having people within it that are thinking of those deep subjects. I think the importance of Martin Methodist College goes beyond Giles County. The fact that there are international students from 23 different countries, I think, expands our um, worldliness. And um, though we live in a global environment, I think each of us individually and as a community have a unique story to tell. Uh, the diversity in students that Martin Methodist College brings to Giles County uh, contributes to self-awareness. So by knowing ourselves better, we are better able to share ourselves with the world, and definitely Martin brings a little bit of that world to us here in Martin, in Pulaski. I think that Martin's strongest play, uh, if I were a parent looking to send my students there, is the, the nurturing environment that it offers. Uh, it is a beautiful community. It is a nice town. People are welcoming and encouraging here. But I think you especially see that on the college campus. Um, I think that the, uh, uh, the faculty understand that their role is to develop these young minds. And uh, that, would, that would excite me as a parent, to know that I'm handing my child off into people who care about them, mind, body, and spirit. Oh, well, I think it's been wonderful. I mean, you know, as a business person, I have to look at it that way. And the business that Martin brings in to uh, each and every, bu every business in the community. Um, well, I'm glad to be uh, in a town that has a college like Martin. Um, that's a pretty high priority for me because uh, it brings colleagues and um, learning and those kinds of things to a community. Um, and it's been a pleasure to get to know the people at Martin in particular. Um, I just think the world of the people who are at Martin. And then I look at the cultural that it's brought into the Galt Center. I, I think about that and how phenomenal that is uh, and what it has done. I mean, you can't go up there and go to a concert there that it just, you're not overwhelmed. That that is actually in Giles County uh, and, a, and a part of the community is wonderful. Um, since Dr. Brown has been there, it has been a difference in day and night. Uh, where, where the college is concerned, where the students are concerned, the impact on the community, the interest in what goes on, and even to the fact they've got a mayor of the town from Martin College, okay? And so that shows the, 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 the strength and the, and the commitment that Martin College has had to this community. You know, we also know them well, and we know what their goals are, their dreams are, and it helps us to, to find those resources that they need to pursue that. Um, so just a real relationship there that I have found continues later in life. I have students that were in the first classes that I taught that I received Christmas cards from every year and now their children, you know, are, are in school or one has just graduated. And, but that's a wonderful legacy. And not only that, but Martin College has, uh, has uh, programs that help the school students become responsible citizens like the Martin Serves program where students go out and serve in the community in many different capacities in many different places in many different ways and that's something large universities do not do for their students. Uh, there's a number of things that I can probably pinpoint and reference that but I think the number of students that are showing interest in going on to graduate school has definitely increased in the last three or four years. Yeah, they have, a, they have a lot of resources down here for people who really want help and really want to further their education. Like the SRC, they have tutors in there that are almost there every day, all day, and they're more than willing to help you. Yeah, we do cover the complete gamut from admission clear through until they graduate. Uh, from, the, from the career side of it, we try to help them basically decide what they want to do and then prepare them for life after Martin you know, through their resume. Now, what's interesting about this, though, is we get a number of students who have graduated that will call us back. So there's life after Martin, and then we're still here. Yeah. You know, what can we do there? So that continuum, that seamless continuum, follows all the way through from the time they first enroll and come for preview day until they graduate. Martin's such a great place to work because it's like you're working with family. 
Um, I've seen a lot of changes over the years. We've grown so much. We have tripled our employees since I started, and also the number of more than tripled the number of students that are attending here. There's been so many changes. It's such a unique environment to work in. Um, there's always so many things going on, so many different types of students on campus as far as from um, international countries, and um, it's just a great experience to be here on this campus. Most satisfaction I get from my job is helping the families, the students and their families, meeting with them and helping them to find ways for their son or daughter to afford to come to Martin Methodist College because Martin Methodist College is very affordable, and some people may be surprised by that, but once we go over the financial aid package with them, they're very happy and pleased to know that their student can attend Martin Methodist College. After coming, after coming to campus, I had never heard of Martin until, you know, just kind of read the website and never really heard of it until I came for my interview, and I just fell in love with it. It was very, it's very homey, and, and then when I came back for my second interview, it just let me know even more that this is where I was supposed to be. So even though I was offered a position closer to my house and probably making a little bit more money, I knew that this is where I, was, I wanted to be. This was really the job that I was hoping to get. When I came to Martin uh, and got to talk with Dr. Burns, it was just, it drew me in. I could see that they wanted to have a warm welcome environment for us and uh, just really wanted us to succeed and be the best nurses we could be. So I was really drunk drawn into the program. Actually, I'd never even heard of Martin Methodist until they recruited me for basketball. And I used to play Giles County in high school, and I never even knew there was a college here. So I came and toured it and stuff, and it just seemed like a really good fit for me. Well, what I like the most is that the classes are like small, and like you get attention, and it's not like a, like a class with 100 people. I know everybody says just they love how small it is, but I think that really was what got it for me, because I come from a high school that probably has about 500 students and so it was just like a really good fit. I was really afraid of course when you're a freshman to leave home and be on your own and it was just a lot easier to go to a place that was really small. Yeah. So. Um, well religious life has been a huge impact on my life just working with uh, the Reverend Laura Kirkpatrick and getting to know the members of the call which is uh, the leadership team on campus for um, for religious life and just to be able to work with them and be able to be blessed by their friendships, just to see how God's talent has, has affected their lives and how they are radiating Christ's love into our community and hopefully one day the world. <laughs> um, actually, I didn't know about Martin Methodist before I came here. So how did you hear about it? Um, actually, I really don't know how Martin got my information, but apparently, I don't know how, but they sent me a letter yeah, so I got a letter in the mail uh, about Martin Methodist, and that's what started me. Well, at first I was a little, uh, a little kind of shocked because I didn't know that I was college material. I didn't know if I could hack it or not, but I was also excited because somebody's giving me a chance to further my education. And that's the other thing that, that I've found that's been very positive for him. To go to a school uh, where no one knew his family, no one knew his background, um, and related to him one-on-one, -on -one, person to person. I think that really meant a lot to him mm -hmm. to hear positive things about himself that he hadn't heard in his high school years. I just think it's a, a really good place. There's so much diversity. Like, I have so many foreign friends here from different countries, and that's something that I would never have gotten at another school. And then everyone is just so close. It's just a close-knit community. And I think it's just so neat to know people from Israel and England and Scotland and Ireland, and that's just something you won't get anywhere else. Yeah, no okay. Honestly, but meet new people. That's, that's always, like, for me, the best part. Meet new people, have new friends. It's more family-oriented, what I think. And classes are smaller, which you have more time with teachers, more one-on-one more -on -one with the teacher, so you actually learn the material a lot better. Um, yeah, the first thing I did was check out the website, see how far away it was, uh, what all programs, what all majors they had, see if they had my major and stuff, so, and they did. I just like how, how everybody seems to have like a genuine care for other people, you know, like it, things as small as if you walk down the street, you know, past somebody that you know, they always say hi, they don't just act like they don't know you, you know, if you have someone in a class, you know, and you see them outside of class, you know, they'll say hey, you know, it's just a, a, a great place to, to literally like know just about everybody on campus.
I would tell him I love Martin because I've been here for a long time and I figured out the ins and outs, figure out what's good for me and what doesn't work for me. And it's a small school, you got a support group, you have friends, you have people that are more than willing to help you. So I would say definitely pick a smaller school if you want your child to be focused and, and really just strive to be the best. Mm -hmm. Taylor, how did you hear about Martin? Oh, well, my dad went here back in the 1980s. Wait, really? Yeah, when yeah, when it was a two-year school and he played uh, he played tennis. So uh, when I was in high school playing tennis, he took me down to see a match. And ever since then, I was hooked. Uh, my granddad is actually a graduate of Martin, and I guess around my uh, freshman year of high school, he said, let's go down to Pulaski, Tennessee, and tour Martin Methodist. So he set up a private tour with uh, Dr. Brown, and so my freshman year was my first experience of Martin Methodist. Wow. Um, it's been pretty diverse. I mean, I like how many, like, I think 17% of the student body is uh, not from America and stuff, so that's really awesome. I really like the, you know, learning about different cultures and stuff. So. And really we're coming to such a diverse school as Martin. There's so many people from all around the world. They don't, they don't know what is normal. So, you know, he kind of just fit in instantly. When I, when I first got here, it was a little bit of a culture shock. You know, I was living next to, to Spanish and a Swedish and, you know, and I didn't really know what to expect at first, but, you know, at the end of the day, you're, they're just like you. You know, they're experiencing this for the first time as well. And, uh, you know, they're going to be my brothers for the rest of my life. My first positive memory was before I was a student. When I won the Ben Offered Scholarship, my second positive memory was uh, meeting all my friends, how we became so close within the first week, and, and how our friendship is almost inseparable now. Um, honestly, it was probably my first day coming on campus. Um, neither my mom or my dad came down here. So uh, I, you know, I was driving my big truck all alone. Didn't really know what to expect. And you pull up, and you have 50 people flock your car and help you move in. And, get in your room and there's 20 people asking if you need any help and it was ever since then I knew this was the place I needed to be. How's your classes? They're all pretty pretty good. I think my favorite was probably speech. Um, you know, so. I've had so many awesome memories at Martin Methodist but probably one of the best ones was, was when we made the campus video last year. I just think it was so neat because so many different people were in it and participated and it was cool to see everybody just kind of let loose and get to know each other better. And I think that's something that you can watch years from now and it'll bring back so many cool memories. And then also I can show it to my kids one day and show how much fun Martin Methodist was for me. We joke with other employees that have been here for a long time and reminisce about the good old days, but I feel like our best days are ahead of us.